Do you ever look at that dirty mirror and constantly tell yourself to shut the f*** up? No? Me neither! Could you believe I don't talk? Selective mutism is a social anxiety disorder. It's got nothing to do with autism, but it's kind of a sociable. Like, ADHD is a completely different disorder to autism, but people that have either could be likely to also have the other, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's get dramatic. Kidding! Nah, I don't feel like going super personal. I like to think of myself as a comedy guy, sometimes. Let's just say that consistency is key. Anyway, a major part of my social life is masking. I made a video about how for me, masking feels like a survival tactic. It's very difficult to try and be myself around people and even to an extent, close family and I don't know why. There's of course the big A. Anxiety, fear of being ridiculed, but a lot of the time I'll be at home, looking at that mirror and thinking that I'm going to start talking today and being at least 25% more of the person that I actually am. The moment any form of interaction happens, my body becomes stiffer. Whenever I try to talk, I'm more quiet, a lot of mumbling even. Basically, instead of being 25% more myself, I am instead 75% more awkward, and it's very strange. For years, it felt like I was physically incapable of talking, but it was always that one exception. Thing. I've been going to different drama groups for years and that has slowly helped even to the point where I wanted to be an actor. Not a priority anymore, but it all feels ironic to me. Masking goes essentially acting and while eventually I do want to start unmasking, making that connection is still very funny to me. I know I talk more about masking, but the two in my case really do come in hand to hand. It's a struggle and I'll tell you what, the worst part is in conversation quickly thinking of a funny joke but being unable to say it. Damn, I might have to start coining the phrase mental nightmare. 